so you have your little Europa base. And despite this being Europa, so you're using rather radical means of heating, things will eventually get rather toasty. So you get your pipe bender Mark II, the upgraded one, and you print yourself a counterflow heat exchanger. And some insulated pipes, two active vents, and two insulated passive vents. You plop it down somewhere, so that the counterflow heat exchanger's front panel is visible. And take note of its connectors. Input on the upper side, output on the upper side. This is one uh, side. And then input two on the lower side, output two on the lower side, opposite direction. You attach the active vent for the outside, which of whichever um, part of the counter for heat exchanger you use, doesn't matter, the upper or lower one, but make sure you use the right direction. This is the input side, that's where we want the active vent, passive vent on the other side. Then the opposite for the input side, for the indoor side, cable everything up. Turn on the outer vent so, so that it sucks inward into the station. And then with a horrified look at the station temperature, which keeps increasing ridiculously, you run to the other vent, set it to inwards and turn it on also. Now we have thermal energy exchange, 68,000 joules per tick. And you enjoy your station cooling down. Just using the outdoor atmosphere of this ridiculously cold moon. And if you want to be fancy, you even automate it. Which is very, very easy. All we need is this line to have the sensor, and this line to have both of these active vents on this circuit. Then we load the temperature of the vent, uh, of the gas sensor. We subtract it, we turn it into Celsius. It's, this is not necessary, but I like to use Celsius. This is um, just for the display, so we we'll ignore that now. Then I'm saying if the value is greater than 100 degrees, um, this shall be this logic statement 1, which I then write into the on mode. Uh, and, and mode is uh, set to 1, yeah. And so it keeps that constantly at 100. I will now turn this down to 25, and then we will not exceed 25. And that is all for today.